Is there any reason to think that GMOs are having a detrimental impact on children's health? I was reading the final arguments of the third Monsanto trial, where Monsanto, now Bayer, got um, nailed for causing cancer for the plaintiffs. And my name came up because it was a memo that was picked up by this, the discovery. And I had just written an article about why children are most at risk from the potential dangers of GMOs. And these Monsanto executives were sicking a pseudoscientist on me because his, they had paid him a lot of money to come after me. And so they're saying, oh, Jeffrey's at it again. And they called the whole thing whack-a-mole. Like as soon as I came up with something, they would try and whack me down. And other Monsanto uh, executives responded saying, funny you should use the word whack-a-mole. We've been using that term to describe the same thing for two years. So I am a mole that they whack. And one of the reasons they try and whack is because I pointed out, truthfully, that children are most at risk. Now, why is that? First of all, they have more allergies than young adults and adults. And GMOs can increase allergic reactions in many ways. Toxins are more dangerous to kids for many reasons, in part because they eat more, more food per body weight than we do. And they also use food differently. They use food to build their systems, not just for fuel. So nutritional deficiencies end up expressing themselves structurally. They also don't have a well-developed blood-brain barrier or microbiome. And all of those things could be negatively influenced. So yes, children are most at risk. And we say, make sure if you're planning to have children, if you're planning to have children, shift to organic before you conceive long before you conceive, but at least two weeks, because that'll give the, the chances for a lot of these chemicals to leave the blood. And during the process of being pregnant, don't eat anything but organics, because some of the sprays that they use on non-organic food are known to cause birth defects, like Roundup's gl uh, glyphosate, and also Liberty Link is a GMO that produces, if you spray Liberty on that, that's related to brain deformities. You don't want to use GMOs or the chemicals when you're pregnant. In fact, there are many people who can't get pregnant these days. The infertility rates are through the roof. In a film that I created with Amy Hart, we went to a chiropractor's office where a lot of infertile couples come. And she puts all of the infertile couples on organic diets. And they all end up with children. All of them. The last time I spoke to her, 123 couples have kids. They were not able to have kids before she saw them. Zero failures. So that not only is more dangerous for kids, but if you don't switch to organic, you may not be able to have the kids. <laughs>